Good morning, it's Wednesday, January 29, 2014. UPBoptionmillionaires.com brought this up on Twitter on Monday, talking about the V bottom. And you can see we, we, we pretty much have that V bottom here like we had uh, starting in June of 2012 and heading into the Abenomics announcement, uh, the policy over in Japan to print money like the Federal Reserve here and uh, trying to uh, stimulate economic growth. And you can see the move. Every V bottom that we've had along the way has been just a tremendous buying opportunity. It looked like we were topping out here with a head and shoulders pattern. Federal Reserve says, oh, we're going to taper, which a lot of the analysts said, oh, this is going to be negative for the market. And uh, instead hit us through to new all-time highs on the S&P 500 ETF. Um, and then we've just recently plunged on some of the emerging market weakness. Uh, China is coming out also there. Uh, some of the data coming out of China has not been so bullish. But again, here we're bouncing and each of the V bottoms, it's just been a very lucrative trade to the upside. And I, I don't think that's gonna end here. We also had Turkey coming out, trying to uh, nip the inflation in the bud by raising interest rates uh, significantly. So futures are a little bit higher here. And I'm looking for that move up over the 180 level. And if you pull in on a short term basis here, I'm looking for a move to 183. 183, this will be the trend line here. 183, the issue is going to be this left, possible left shoulder, this head, and then the looming right shoulder that will be forming once we hit about 183, 182.50. A lot of people are going to be calling for downside, a topping pattern. Uh, hit a high, could not re uh, recapture that high, and that will be the right shoulder, and then plunge to the neckline and ultimately down below that. So. That is going to be something to look at over the next couple of weeks. Right now, upside. Certainly upside. We're going to see a sharp bounce here. That's what we're getting. Uh, short interest is down, but that does not mean stocks aren't going to rally to the upside. And, uh, I think that's what's going to happen heading into week's end. And then from there, well, we'll figure out the direction. Uh, some stocks I'm looking to get into. I'm already in the Goldman Sachs calls. I love some of the retailers that have been beaten down. Uh, FIVE. Look at this chart. Uh, to me, it look like, looks like the stock has hit lows here and is ready to bounce. And you can see this trend line is, is acted as support. Record short interest in the name. Record short interest. Um, so to me, it looks like we're going to get a bounce up at least at a $40 level, which would be a nice trade. Also, big lots. Uh, big lots beaten down today. Uh, I think a lot of that had to do with RCII, which is a, you know, caters to the lower and middle class, which is doing, oh, so not so good. In this environment uh, the rich are doing good if you're selling stuff to the rich you're doing very well but uh rent to center not doing so well down over 22 percent so to see big lots kind of holding up in spite of that right at the trend line support very bullish to me i love the stock for upside uh each time it's gotten down this low let me see if we can pull up the relative there you go the rsi hasn't been this low gosh in over five years so to me we're, we're going to get a sharp bounce back here over 30 bucks to the 3750 level it's going to be a highly lucrative trade to the upside same with fibe love it for the upside love it over 40 bucks going to be a very lucrative trade has not been oversold like this in years so uh, let's move on to some stocks that are reporting earnings well this morning uh before the bell we have boeing we have a lot of stocks reporting earnings this morning uh then after the bell we have Qualcomm. I mean, this is one of the best weeks we're going to have as far as earnings are concerned and uh, probably for the first quarter of 2014. Exciting times. Exciting times. When you get a stock like uh, RCII that drops 22%, that's a lucrative trade. <laughs> that's huge. I mean, it, you make a lot of money there. Um, also, what we're looking at Amazon. We have Amazon after the bell on Thursday. Amazon, Google, Chipotle Mexican Grill, Wind Resorts, Mantawak. Before the bell on Thursday morning, we have 3M, Harley Davidson, Whirlpool, Visa, Northrop Grumman, um, and then after the uh, before the bell on Friday, we have Mastercard, Simon Property Group. So I saw a little piece talking about how <laughs> Simon Property Group and uh, some of the REITs, I like to say REITs, are going to be the next uh, shoot to fall. Remember back in 2008, 2009, uh, the REITs were a very popular short. A lot of people thought those stocks, stocks were going to plunge to zero. Um, and uh, some people are pointing out nowadays that the commercial real estate, CRE, is going to be the next uh, the big bubble, the pop. Uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, 
So yeah, we have earnings out that it's going to be so interesting. Google, which has broken out to new all-time highs, has recently pulled back to this beautiful support line that starts in uh, November. Abenomics low um, and and looks poised to. And the analysts just continually keep upgrading the stock. Look, we bounced off the support level. Looks to me like we're going to head over the twelve hundred dollar price point uh, post earnings. I don't know if it's going to be a tradable out of the money option trade, but if you get in the money, you might make 40-50% to the upside, we'll see, but it, uh, Google really um, is not pricing in that kind of volatility for earnings uh, like it has in the past, so it could be a, a great chance to get into some Google calls for earnings. That's after the bell, also Amazon. I think Amazon's going to head higher post earnings. Look at it, it's consolidating here in that channel, see the channel here, beautiful channel um, that I think is going to resolve to the upside. And Amazon's going to be over four hundred and twenty dollars post on earnings. That's my opinion. Chipotle Mexican Grill, which has been beaten down a little bit, broke through support. Uh, to me, again, it's going to be another one of these stocks uh, still consolidating within this channel. I think it's going to at least bust up to this point here, about five hundred and forty-five dollars. That'd be CMG. That's for earnings after the bell on Thursday and Win Resorts, which has been destroyed since hitting new all time highs at 216, bounced today. And look at it, bounced off it just like it did back in November. Uh, each time it has been oversold in this oversold under $25, air, uh, 25 RSI area, has bounced to the upside. And, and you can see it really the sharp pullback is going to see a snap back to the upside, which is going to bring the stock back over 200 bucks and that's going to be earnings after the bell on thursday i think las vegas sands reports before the bell on thursday so it's going to be interesting some of those casino stocks have been just going through the roof uh, really especially since uh the end of november start of december last year in 2013. we have qualcomm we have facebook facebook reports earnings uh after the bell on wednesday today and you can see this is another pattern <laughs> Uh, kind of emulating what we see with the S&P 500. Okay, we had uh, a head and shoulders type pattern back at the start of 2013. Looked like it was going to break down and launch to the upside. We had another head and shoulders pattern back towards the end of 2013. Launched to the upside. So it's going to be interesting to see post earnings where Facebook is going to head. Uh, I think the a consensus is for upside. I mean, it's, analysts continually come out on Facebook upgrading the stock, talking bullishly about it. So I think the stock's going to head over 60 bucks. We had Twitter just off of uh, all-time highs today. Twitter's breaking out. Um, so some of these social media stocks, we even, I, I hate to bring it up, Angie's List has been doing very well. Uh, Angie's List broke down, put in a nice bottom here, Yelp up 5% today. So a lot of these social media stocks just the investors and traders just can't get enough of them. So it's something to keep in mind. Um, we have Facebook. We have Mellanox reporting after the bell tomorrow. Uh, today, Mellanox has been beaten down a little bit. It's under that uh, forty-one dollar level. We'd like to see a break above it. We have Sam Adams, uh, Boston Bre uh, Boston Beer Company, which is back in the channel here. See, it's back in the channel and looks poised to break to the upside post earnings. We have Skull Candy, which is a uh, uh, a penny stock a little bit ago has broken out to the upside pulled back a little bit but looks poised to continue to the upside one of the most heavily shorted stocks uh, over the last couple of years and and really seeing the short start to cover here uh, look for a move back to 10 bucks uh, I have a couple other stocks well we have Simon property group but a couple other stocks I'm looking at I'll put it in the chat room at optionmillionaires.com Simon property group has been kind of stuck in this channel as well uh, so this is the morning market video update. Uh, S&P 500 futures are up almost a half a percent. Turkey uh, raised rates, and, and this is bullish. <laughs> we have the taper coming out tomorrow, the Federal Reserve, or this morning, Federal Reserve is going to come out and uh, let us know if they're going to continue tapering. Another $10 billion, please. <laughs> what is $10 billion in this centrally planned, uh, manipulated marketplace? Uh, all right, two people here. So we had some great trades in the chat room at optionmillionaires.com, uh, and I'll see you guys there in a little while. All right, goodbye.